Hello everyone, Bradley Sward here, the Pack Prof, and today we are going to take a look at a game called Human Resource Machine, a Tomorrow Corporation production produced and completed in late 2015. Well, I found this game about a year or two ago. My wife actually found the game for me. Uh, she came home from work one day saying that she could do assembly language and she has absolutely no training in computer science. So I had to try the game out, and lo and behold, you'll find that uh, there's a lot of computer programming, a lot of logic, a lot of assembly language topics that you can uh, use in this game. Uh, hopefully, the reason I'm making you do this is to help make you a better programmer. All right, so let's get to it. So I've already picked my avatar for this game, and I click on her to start the game, and there we go. So level one, the mailroom. Starting off day one, my first day on the job. Welcome to your first day. What am I supposed to do? Blah, blah, blah. Who cares, right? <laughs> There's a very loose, very weird story that goes with this game. So what am I supposed to do? I'm supposed to take everything that's in the inbox and move it to the outbox. So boom, 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 boom. So how would I do that? I already have it kind of set up here. So just to show, I could run that program, take her from there to there, and then, of course... The guy who looks more and more like me every day with the glasses there screams out, Hey, you were supposed to do this three times over. So I can stop and reset my program and then go, Oh, I should hard code this. Whenever you see this as a programmer, you should start to get a little nervous about this. Hard coding over and over and over again, because there's a thing called a loop. But here she goes, and you can speed her up. And there she goes, there she goes, and ta-da! Level 1 complete. I thought I did a pretty good job. All right, so level two, same as the first. Slight difference being the introduction of a new operation, the loop. Or the unconditional jump, if you're thinking uh, assembly language. So just like before, we could have, we could hard code her to do this over and over and over and over and over again. But what's cool about this is we can introduce a jump. And you know, higher level programming languages, there is no such thing as an unconditional jump, that go-to statement. But at assembly language, at that level, we have to do things like this. There's no other way around it. So uh, the jump is the way to go. I just want to make sure I go back up to the top. And this will loop as long as there is something to loop. There's more data for her to process. We can speed her up. Let's see. Oh, yeah, boot sequence is the term that's working its way out to the output and success again level two complete all right so something slightly different level three so this introduces the concept of a register something that you'll be learning in assembly language class so you'll learn that you know as complicated as a computer is there's only a few places on the central processing unit the cpu where we can actually do the work that the computer needs to do. So um, in this case, we want to move the word B-U-G, bug, over from the registers into the outbox. So in this one, we're not doing anything with data whatsoever. So what do I need to do? So inbox and outbox, you know, those operations are kind of moot at this point. So I say copy from. So I say I want to copy from location 4. Okay, and then I want to take it to the outbox. So let's try it out. There she goes takes the B, and of course, we have to pretty much hard code this. In this regard, there is no, there's no way to loop this or do anything more than just hard code this, copy from 4, copy from 0, and copy from uh, 3, and then just throw some outboxes in there. And that's about it. And now she'll shoot the word bug over to the output window. Success. Getting really good at this game. So let's take a look at the last level before I conveniently forget how any of this works for the next week or so. So scrambler handler. So let's see. I actually didn't look at this one yet. So let's see. What have we got? Year four. So oh boy. So we got three registers sitting in front of us, and just like most computer programming languages, we're starting from zero. So here we go. We need to grab the first two things from the inbox and drop them in the outbox in reverse order. Oh, jeez. 
So repeat until the inbox is empty, which means at the very end there's going to be an unconditional jump to bring me back up to the top. And the game understands that uh, as long as there's data, as long as there's something in the inbox, it'll continue to, to travel forth. In a real program, this would be an infinite loop, which we wouldn't want to see. Okay, so anyway, so I need to take something from the inbox, and then I need to copy... Oh, here's a new one. Copy two. How about I copy it to the zero location? Sounds good to me. And then, how about I take the next piece of information there, and I go, oh, inbox, and I go, oh, take that directly to the outbox because I want to take that second piece of data and have it go on to the conveyor belt first. And then, once that is set, then I can go back to the location zero, take the data, sounds good to me, and then push that one back to the outbox. And then, as we discussed a couple 30, 40 seconds ago, do a repeat, and we're good to go. And complete level four. Oh, I'm just going to forget how it all works. As you could imagine, there are quite a few levels to this game, quite a few puzzles to solve. So what you see here in front of you on the screen is basically your first homework assignment. You get to play some video games for a week, uh, a couple hours this week, and uh, have some fun. So uh, the yellow levels, at least down this path, are a little more interesting. Uh, Octoplier is uh, multiplying something by 8, and Tetracontraplier is multiplying something by 40. The only caveat to this is you don't have the ability to do anything with multiplication. You have to figure out a way to do this with just addition without just doing it 8 or 40 times. So these are some interesting problems, and so are everything down to this path. So your homework assignment will resolve around getting yourself to this checkpoint, this uh, cutscene. And then, again, as you could imagine, the game gets pretty complicated. All the, a lot of the things that we see here uh, when we teach a computer science topics are introduced. Fibonacci, uh, I don't think there's anything recursion, thank goodness. That would be absolutely insanity. Uh, but it gets all the way up to alphabetizing, and which is just a, a fancy form of sorting. I believe this is a bubble sort. Uh, the story gets absolutely crazy. I think Godzilla comes around or something. I mean, there has to be a story, right? You know. So, so anyway. So, uh, good luck, everyone, and uh, we'll see you next time. And I will leave you with the uh, first cuts. Regions of the city continue to experience power failure. Local authorities.